What do you like about producing and recording people? I found that with playing music, there was a very... I still really enjoy playing, but I don't. I really do it. But there's a funny thing where your entire day is spent waiting for the moment of performance. Then the moment of performance happens, and it's an incredibly exciting thrill. And then you have an adrenaline, and then you have a come down from the adrenaline, and then you wake up, and then you start the next day with a kind of long period of waiting. And it's great if you want to read a lot of books and <laughs> something like that um but eventually the studio became something where i was like oh i can actually have nice long consistent energy days where you know productively involved with people in creation the, the kind of the consistency of the energy and enjoying making records and being in a studio with people is often is like the best moment you can have with people it's a very particular time and i think you, you can really just experience some of the the best sort of best of people in the, in in that way you know and if you learn how to work with people and facilitate their creative process you get to help manifest some of the the, the better qualities and better performances and people you get to enjoy it as an audience whilst you're there recording it but then you also have the thrill of your own skills helping to tune that and make it sound good and i also enjoyed the challenge of learning how to give advice or hold back advice almost more importantly or when to step in or when not to um then also dealing with bands or groups of people together there's a whole another whole level of the psychology of learning how to deal with people or how to get the best out of you know a situation so i find just the kind of the depth of experience that comes from recording is um, is like infinitely, you know, exciting and fascinating, and um, and you know, in the end, that became something I you know really enjoy on a day to day. And then my own private music making has become something more that I do very privately in a kind of off time you know I, it, it takes a very different approach you know i i tend to make if i if i'm making my own music i tend to leave the studio go away for a while go into a very different mindset where i can become the artist in that way again and then make my own music normally in a very and, and often i make it very lo-fi you know i'm in the studio all the time so when i make my own stuff i'm using super basic very very lo-fi you know i kind of and, and, and I think as soon as I took the strain away of expecting my own music to be like something that made money, it became much more relaxing. I was like, you know, I was like, oh, I can just make a record when I feel like it. I can collaborate with someone I feel like it's right. And I can just make what, you know, I can just follow a really nice idea, see it through. And I, there's no pressure for that to be anything other than what it is and yeah so